Hello guys, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. Uh, just got back from a uh, long weekend, a great weekend I should say as well. Um, in Lubbock, Texas, uh, we had a KCBS uh, cooking competition. Had a really good time guys. Um, you know, my buddy Chris from Bushmaster Barbecue was there. Obviously we were on his team. Uh, alongside with uh, James from Amum and Claymum Smokers, um, I will leave a, a link to his YouTube channel, a really great guy, guys, been following him for a long time on YouTube, and um, it was an awesome experience to to have him cooking with us on our team, uh, brings a lot of experience and is a really good cook as well. Um, overall, guys, not too shabby. Um, again, we had some pretty big players from Texas, all around Texas, um, that showed up to this event, and um, so we ended up uh, 12th overall. Um, out of 54 teams, we came in 12th. Um, we ended up with fourth in brisket, uh, which was awesome. I think we turned in a really good product. Um, we ended up 11th in, in ribs, uh, which was awesome again, compared to some of the guys that we were uh, cooking against. Um, we're pretty happy with that. Obviously it's nice to have first, but um, you know, you gotta give respect to the other teams that, that are there too, and, and they're professionals at what they do as well. Uh, we ended up um, 20th in pork, which I thought we had turned in a pretty good product, guys. Um, not sure if it, if the uh, if the money muscle tightened up or what it was, but um, you know, still a really good product. Um, and then 25th in chicken, and um, again, uh, out of 54 teams, we still ended up on the top top half of the teams, which was pretty awesome to to, to accomplish that. But we had a great weekend, guys. Had a lot of fun. Um, I tried to record uh, as much as I could, guys. I got a little bit of footage, not a whole lot, but um, you know, I wanted to show you guys uh, what kind of what happens in a KCBS competition. And and it is, it gets a little uh, stressful, especially at turning times. And the reason why is because your 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 meats are are due 30 minutes apart. So it's like 12 o'clock chicken, 12:30 ribs, uh, one o'clock uh, brisket. Um, and then 130 pork. Um, so it happens really fast, guys, and that's crunch time for us. Um, you know, we cooked really hot and fast. We cooked everything hot and fast, by the way. Uh, we had uh, gateway drums. We had four gateway drums out there uh, that we cooked our food in. Um, and those are working machines, guys. Um, even, even some of the top teams in, in Texas that had these real nice uh, pits, like the Jambo pits and stuff, uh, they had a, a drum of some sort. A lot of gateways. I saw a lot of gateways. That's all we cooked on uh, this weekend. So, uh, again, want to bring you guys along, show you what happens and what goes on. Uh, there's a lot of fun, guys, in, uh, in these competitions, especially when you're cooking with great guys uh, like Chris at Bushmaster Barbecue and James at Amum and Claimum Smokers. So, uh, wanted to, again, just bring you guys along, guys. I, uh, it's about uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Sunday and I actually came home to another surprise um, another drum I'll show you guys that real quick and then we will get on with the uh, KCBS competition video so uh, here's my drum she's a beauty it's a flat black uh, withstands temperature of up to a thousand degrees so it's a nice surprise to come home to but uh, let's get on to the KCBS competition thanks for watching guys Hello guys, Joe at Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. We made it to Lubbock. Uh, this is day one. We pulled in around 1 p.m. so we're already set up and uh, I gotta tell you this is gonna be a pretty big competition. We've got about 60 teams right now uh, from all over Texas so it's gonna be a pretty good competition. Can't wait. Um, there's, uh, if you can see behind me, there's a bunch of people set up over there. Uh, we're in a little different parking lot. Uh, we're in our travel trailer. I'll show you our setup here in a little bit, but uh, again, pretty, pretty uh, big turnout of teams uh, from all over Texas, and uh, so this is going to be a pretty good one. I've seen some really nice smokers, guys. Um, you know, we're cooking on uh, gateway drums. Uh, we're doing hot and fast. Looks like a lot of people are doing the low and slow. Um, they got a lot of offsets. Haven't really seen a whole lot of pits, but uh, it's going to be a interesting competition for sure. You can see right behind me, it looks like a jambo pit. But uh, the majority of your teams are right over here in this parking lot. You can see that. 
Uh, it's a uh, pretty big spread, but uh, pretty exciting day, guys. Uh, we'll see what the night brings, and I'll bring you guys along. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. Wanted to show you guys this smoker. This is a smoker built by Evy Mays uh, Pit Barbecue right outside of Lubbock in Wolford, Texas. Wolford, Texas. But this is one of the nicest pits I've seen out here. It's about a 750 gallon uh, smoker, but it's amazing, guys. It's got pretty much everything, everything you will ever need. But uh, pretty sweet setup. You guys can see that. Really nice uh, smoker. Big, huge firebox. So this is just one of the one of the nicer ones that I've seen. So stay tuned, and I'll show you guys some more. All right, guys. Here's another rig. Texas oil dust, really nice smoker, really nice setup. You can see a smoker there, beautiful smoker. Guys, we got all sorts of smokers, which is kind of neat. If you guys ever uh, interested in a certain pit or a smoker, this is definitely where you guys will, will find what you like. And uh, people are real nice. You can walk right up to them and ask them questions about their pits, what they like and dislike about them. Here's a jambo pit. This is kind of the the Cadillac of the smokers, if you will. Really nice unit here. It's a really nice door there. Their vent, their intake. Here's another nice, uh, nice setup. One of these days when I graduate from uh, being a junior pit master, this, is, this would be a dream right here for sure. But again, another nice smoker, and they're using a, uh, looks like a gateway drum as well. Here's another nice setup, really nice smoker, R&O smokers. Looks a lot like the, uh, the L Ray. The handles and the way the uh, squares come off of the pit. Again, really nice setup, guys. The door is a lot uh, like the Jambo door as well. Beautiful, beautiful. And there's another drum. So there's a drum craze going on. It looks like another gateway. So uh, we'll take a look at some more. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Wanted to show you guys one more smoker setup. Really nice offset on the trailer here. Big firebox. The interesting thing is that this looks like a Yoder, and it is. It's a Yoder uh, pellet-fed smoker mounted on the trailer. It's like it's Boomerang Barbecue. Really nice setup. I don't think I've ever seen a, a Yoder pellet grill mounted alongside an offset smoker. So really, really neat. All right, folks, we're at the Cook's meeting. Just wanna show you what goes on in here. Yeah, we showed up like five minutes late. We were in the concert, we're sorry. We got misdirected. We did get a free beer, though. Yeah. <laughs> the dress code. Yeah. Let me first time question I have here. Guys, if y'all need us, come after the meeting. We'll talk to you if you need some help on your boxes and stuff, on your garnish and stuff. What we're going to do is the chicken's going to be at 12 o'clock tonight, tomorrow afternoon. Whoa. Did you get that, James? <laughs> Good, get cooking. Okay. Pork. Pork pot. Pork can 
do anything you want to the floor. Slice, chop, dice, however you want to put it in a box. As long as I have six thirty. Okay? I'm stressing that real hard. Okay? <coughs> Risky. One thirty. Okay, six slices. Any way you want to do your brisket. Any thickness you want to do your brisket. That's up to y'all. Okay? Any questions on the chicken? Just the presentation, do you have to have it in the box? Or you have to close the box? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to give us boxes to close this? Is that how that works? Have you checked in yet? You haven't got your boxes yet? Well, I'm over here with him, so yeah. I am. I'm just asking if I'm going to Yes, you do have to. It does have to close. The lid has to close. Has to close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and no half chicken. No half chicken. It's individual pieces. Somebody asked if they could run to McDonald's and put six chicken nuggets in the box. And, yeah. So. You guys check this out. Uh, it's like Hill Country Barbecue. Just in case you forget some rubs at home, these guys got you covered. It's pretty nice of them actually to come in and supply the uh, the uh, people that are cooking off, or in the contest, I should say. Good morning everybody, it's uh, day two here in Lubbock at Texas Tech uh, University and uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning, everybody's up and, and moving around, if you will, got a nice uh, sunrise coming up there and um, a lot of uh, pits are already fired up and and uh, these guys are dropping, dropping their meats. Um, it looks like we had around 52 teams or so. Uh, we had a few roll in late last night. Uh, we're in this uh, north parking lot. Uh, a little less fewer teams, but uh, everybody's together. And 
and uh, got some pretty stiff competition. You know, walking around yesterday, got guys from all over Texas. Some of the some of the top cooks in Texas uh, for sure. Um, so we're we definitely have to cook at our best today to to keep up with these guys for sure. But uh, here's our camp right here. There's big Chris back there. We got Jerry cooking up some breakfast. I'll uh, bring you guys in a little bit, kind of show you what's going on. But another hour, I'm going to fire up my uh, gateway drum. Um, we got some uh, hash browns and sausage. We're going to make some burritos with uh, cheese, an egg, and some homemade tortillas. We're going to have burritos for breakfast. Um, got uh, James from Amon and Claymon Smokers. Guys, you guys got to check out his channel. Been following that guy for a long time and uh, got a lot of things out of James for sure. So he's cooking on a Weber. And uh, we've got Chris over here. He's got, uh, show us what you got here, Chris. You got- uh, yeah, Pork and brisket went on exactly 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago, guys. Ooh, look at that. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. And we've got uh, this beautiful flat black smoker. Got our pork in there. Same thing on the other can. Yeah, same thing on the other can, guys. Again, if you're looking, you're not cooking, so we're just going to leave that alone. But uh, pretty exciting day. It's a game day, if you will. We're, we're definitely pumped up. Guys, pretty happy with the uh, pretty happy with the brisket, pretty happy with the pulled pork, or the uh, pork shoulders, I'm sorry. Uh, really happy with the ribs. Um, Chicken James is uh, inside the RV right now, injecting the uh, chickens, getting them ready. And um, again, I'm gonna fire up my the last drum, and uh, about an hour we'll be dropping those uh, those ribs right at 10 o'clock. Turning is at uh, 12:30, and I go for about a little over two hours, guys. Try to stick right at two hours, but I might go a little bit over just to make sure that uh, I'm good. I'll check the tenderness, obviously. We guys pretty excited. I'll try to take some more video as we go along. Um, but obviously it's, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's game day. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but uh, we'll definitely try to get you guys some, uh, some video of this uh, competition. Again, we're in Lubbock at uh, Texas Tech University, right next to the uh, stadium at uh, KCBS Barbecue. So, stay tuned guys, we'll be back. Got our brisket being wrapped. Big Chris taking care of it. Yeah. Very symmetrical. Thank you. Got our gateway drums rolling guys. This is the newest kit on the block here, this flat black one, it's beautiful. It's supposed to withstand temperatures of over a thousand degrees, so should never have pounds of that paint. But uh, got these three drums. We got this drum here. We got a Weber as well. So we are we are looking good. Right now just trying to get my temperature. 300. We're a little over, so still got about 15 minutes before I drop anything into that. I'll uh, show you guys the, the video of when I drop my ribs. I'll show you guys the uh, how I set that up. I'm cooking three racks on the top rack with the diffuser plate in it, but uh, we'll catch up at that point. This place is smelling amazing in Lubbock, Texas Tech University. Smelling like good barbecue. Again, a lot of good competitors out here. Uh, we're about three hours away from turning, so it's coming up really, really quick, uh, quick, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back and been extremely busy. I almost forgot to video a little bit, but uh, got my ribs. Uh, just pulled them off the uh, wrap about five minutes ago. Just give you guys a sneak peek. That's what they look like. Yeah, nice and pretty. Nice and dark oh, yeah, dude. color. Getting a nice pullback from that middle rack. These are pulling back actually a little bit more. And these haven't pulled back as much as I'd like, but uh, we'll see what they look like. So uh, I'll try to give you guys some more video. So stay tuned. All right, 
right guys we just yanked our, our thighs and uh, we're dipping them in our our sauce they're all equally proportioned they look really really good pretty happy with our chicken put them back in the uh, gateway drum for another five ten minutes we've got we got to run to turn in so stay tuned guys Guys, here's our chicken turn-in box. Really uh, nice color. We're gonna spritz it a little bit. Just to get it to pop a little bit. We'll be back. Got the uh, slice in the money muscle. I'm gonna yeah. take this for a test drive. Oh, it's money. Money? <laughs> money, money muscle money? No. Money muscle is money. Wow. Wow. Extremely tender, good texture. Good job. Nice well grain. Got our pooled, our tubes in this bath right here. This is our pork turnip. So next is brisket, guys. And we'll be actually we're not done because we got a steak uh, to cook later tonight too. So stay tuned. All right, guys, got our brisket. amazing that's obviously guys not a piece that we're going to use but just trying to get our slices good we're ready for turn in good to turn in and then come that part of the purpose well that's it's a little tight in here well it's a little thick too yeah see oh feels good Pool's good. Just a little thinner, Chris. Yep, I know. I'll be good. Alright guys. It's gonna get intense, so I'm gonna shut this thing off.